What's good? You are now rocking with the Bigs. My name is Herb Howard, wrapping things up from here at Soldier Field. Listen, I've been following this Bears team all of my life. Today's defeat to the Denver Broncos was one of the very worst in the history of this franchise. The Bears started out playing well. They had a 28-7 lead in the second half, and they gave it all back. You will hear about the fumble that Justin Fields had that was scooped and scored, returned back for a touchdown. You'll hear about the interception that he threw late in the game that sealed the victory for the Denver Broncos. you hear about the 10 penalties from this Bears team that gave up 91 yards. All those things were absolutely factors in the Bears' defeat today, but the most egregious moment of the afternoon came from head coach Matt Eberflus. The Bears were driving. The game was tied 28-28. About two and a half minutes left to go in the game. The Bears had fourth and short. He elected not to attempt the go-ahead field goal. Instead, he tried to run the ball with Khalil Herbert, who did have a good day running the ball. Over 100 yards for him today on 19 carries. However, the Denver Broncos defense stood up. They stuffed Khalil Herbert for no gain. They took over the ball. They went down. Ultimately, they got the go-ahead field goal and win the game 31-28. Listen, head coaches make decisions every single game. and Sometimes they go their way. Sometimes they don't go their way. But if you can live with the decision, that's okay. I don't know how Matt Eberflus, Ryan Poles, or anybody else lives with the decision that Matt Eberflus made today. This is a team who has not won a game in almost a full calendar year. And you – not to take a game-leading field goal. You don't want to take the lead. Instead, you leave the game tied. Denver Broncos go down, and they take the win that you clearly did not want. It's something I can't understand. It's something that I cannot forgive. Matt Eberflus tried to explain it away in a lot of different ways in the locker room. Hey, if we get the first down there, we're going to go ahead and win the game. Sure, but if you don't, you're going to lose, and that's exactly what happened. It's a terrible decision. It's not hindsight. This is a terrible decision from the start. I was standing in the press box. You cannot – forego this field goal attempt right here. Now, I like how they came up there and they tried to get them to jump, jump off sides. Once that didn't work, you call the timeout, you kick the field goal, you play defense with the lead. If you're a 3-0 football team, I can understand you're rolling the dice on that. You're 0-3. You need a win and you choose not to take the lead on your home field and you lose to a team that gave up 70 points last week. Absolutely egregious decision by head coach Matt Eberflus, an unforgivable decision by head coach Matt Eberflus as well. The Bears are now 0-4. They have a short week before they have to head out to Washington where they'll play the Commanders and probably go to 0-5. The Bears had an opportunity today to turn around their season, build some momentum, go to Washington, pick up another victory, and then come back home with an opportunity against their division rival Minnesota Vikings to even out their record at 3-3. None of that is going to happen right now. There's no life in this team. Some of it, a lot of it, was sucked out of this team by the head coach here at Soldier Field today. The boo boards were raining down on Matt Eberflus as the clock expired here at Soldier Field. Again, terrible, terrible decision that cannot be ignored, cannot be explained. As far as I'm concerned, it can't be forgiven. Side note, there's also a lot of conversation in the post-game press conference about Chase Claypool, who was a healthy scratch, inactive in today's game. The Bears gave away a second-round pick to the Pittsburgh Steelers in exchange for Chase Claypool last year. The hope was that he would become a major contributor to this offense. Simply has not worked out. It was something that I watched very closely throughout the summer. I had a Chase Claypool meter rating how, his, how he was doing each and every day. Ultimately, that Chase Claypool meter can be retired. He was a healthy scratch, inactive. We're talking about a guy who just had a couple of receptions on the season for this team, and already he is inactive for this team right now. So, listen, lesson here for the Bears. If Mike Tomlin and the Pittsburgh Steelers are done with him, you should probably be done with him too. I know Chase Claypool has a lot of talent. He has a lot of physical attributes, but he simply does not have the mental and emotional makeup to be a pro in this league, and the Bears are paying the cost for that right now. That's it from here at Soldier Field. Again, the Bears 0-4, snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. They lose 31-28 to the poorest Denver Broncos. They head to Washington on Thursday night football this week. For the Bigs Media, my name is Herb Howard. It's us.